Mastering the phrase, be hell on something. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a very interesting phrase, be hell on something. Whether you're an English language learner or just someone looking to expand your idiomatic vocabulary, this video will provide valuable insights into how and when to use this expression. So, let's get started. The phrase, be hell on something, is a colloquial expression that might sound a bit intimidating at first. However, it's quite commonly used in everyday English. At its core, to be hell on something means to be very tough on, harsh, or cause damage to something or someone. It can also imply that someone has a negative effect on something or wears something out quickly. For example, if someone says, kids can be hell on the furniture, they mean that kids can be very rough with furniture, often causing damage or wear and tear faster than usual. To better understand how to use, be hell on something, let's look at a few examples. 1. Personal impact, he's hell on shoes. He goes through a pair almost every month because of all the hiking he does. 2. Behavioral influence, this new manager is hell on tardiness. She expects everyone to be on time, no exceptions. 3. Physical effect. The harsh winter was hell on the roads, leading to many potholes. Notice how in each example, the phrase is used to highlight a strong negative impact or effect on something else. This expression can be versatile, applied to people, objects, or situations. While, be hell on something, is quite straightforward, the context in which it's used can vary. The tone can range from light-hearted and humorous to serious and critical. It's important to consider the context and the audience when using this phrase to ensure it's received in the intended manner. Additionally, there are variations of this expression, such as, be hard on something, or, be rough on something, which can be used in more formal or less intense situations but convey a similar meaning. Thank you for joining us in exploring the phrase, be hell on something. We hope this video has shed light on how to understand and use this expression effectively in your English conversations. Remember, learning idiomatic expressions can significantly enrich your language skills and help you sound more like a native speaker. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language tips. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.